telling old people what's going on. Welcome back to the vlog. Shout out to all my followers, man. Shout out to everybody that's been sharing the video. Shout out to everybody that's been inspiring me to keep creating. You know, hopefully, and the plan is to always provide y'all with as much value as possible when it comes to building your brand using marketing technology. You know, because marketing technology, whether you realize it or not, it's the lifeblood of any brand, regardless of how big or small, how many employees you have, if you have one product or you have 100 products, marketing always has to be at the forefront of any type of scale, any type of growth, any type of consistency, any plans, any type of goals you might have in order to scale your business, you will have to utilize marketing, you know? And is it a learning curve? Of course, you know? So with this video, I just wanna expound on the fact that, you know, the MarTech tools that you will have to utilize Right? There's gonna be some free ones. There's gonna be some ones that, you know, if, if you're a beginner, you know, it's a free one, but you know, the, the functionality is gonna be a little limited on what you can do, but it's a starting point, you know? But it's also apps that, you know, you're gonna have to pay for, right? In order to maximize and get the best, you know, from the um, tools that you utilize in order to grow your business, right? They're gonna allow you to have access to more features when it comes to, you know, if you're paying. So I always advise individuals to start paying, you know, stack up your bread, you know, to get beside yourself and start spending all your profit. I know you want to fall out, I know you want to go crazy, but if you're a new brand, you know, less than two years old, your main focus should just be consistency, putting out quality products, quality services, putting your team together, paying yourself, you know, of course, pay yourself to live, but everything else has to go back into marketing tools. Everything has to go back into investing in the team, you know, and increasing their wages, you know, compensation, bonuses, giving them milestones to hit, you know, as a collective, as a whole, as a, as a company. You know, this is the milestone. We need to reach such and such amount of followers in 90 days, such and such amount of revenue coming in in 90 days, such and such, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Whatever your plan, whatever your goal is, whatever your, your, your milestones you establish in order to reward them so that way you keep your team, everybody feel like they get, you know, paid for their hard labor. You know, the marketing is definitely, you know, it's tedious, but it's important, it's a necessity. You know, it can be boring. It's like the boring side of, big, of brand building, of business building, because it's a lot of analytics. You know, a lot of Google analytics, a lot of Facebook analytics, a lot of Pinterest analytics, a lot of um, Bing analytics, a lot of um, website analytics, a lot of social media analytics. You got to study the demographics, the age groups, who your targeted consumer is, you know, um, answering any questions in the comment section, interacting with them. So it's a lot that goes into marketing, but the rewards is super worth it. You know, more sales, more followers, know more feedback more um community building for your company around your brand so you know it's worth it yeah let me wash my hands real quick yeah so it's always gonna be like a um you'll always be like a base murder code. It is what it is because you can have the best. This is just in my opinion, right? Being in marketing for over a decade now, working with some of the biggest brands out here. You can have the best product, you can spend the best time on it, the most time on it, the most money on it. But if no one knows your product even exists, all of that hard work to create it, product service, it'll go in vain. You know, if you spent all of your money 
and developing something and don't have any money left over to start marketing and running campaigns. And when I mean campaigns, I'm talking about email marketing campaigns. I'm talking about SMS marketing campaigns. I'm talking about social media marketing campaigns. We're talking about influencer on marketing campaigns. You know, just putting, just putting everything together like that, you know, just in order to just grow your brand. You know, but like I said, it's always gonna be that learning curve. There's always gonna be certain tools, I mean, that you will have to utilize in order to grow it. But like I said, I just feel me personally, you got to focus on, you know, the paid ones. You know, the paid tools is gonna be the ones that allow you to have access to, the, to all of the functionality that you're gonna need in order to take it to the next level, you know? But like I said, just start off small, start off with the free ones, you'll be good, you know? But like I said, once you start making them sales, yeah, better start tapping into all those um all these marketing technology tools out here, you know, in order to automate your business, especially if you ain't let me in a position financially to start paying different team members and putting different people in position in the departments to make up your company. Yeah, you can hire VAs, you could use let me different um AI chat bots to start automating um replies and all that to comments that you get from potential seekers, consumers that's interested in your product. So, you know, it's all about, you know, hustling, man. Listen, and make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. Make sure you share it. Let me make sure you like it. Make sure you leave me some comments down below. Shout out to all my go-getters, man. You know, shit, boy, peace.